Jameer Watkins from Trenton Capital, New Jersey. Um, Justin Peoples from West Tech in New Jersey. Antoine Miller from Camden Elite. And we wanted to do another one-on-one -on -one, um, battle between Jameer Watkins and Justin Peoples of New Jersey High School Basketball. Um, Jameer Watkins is a 6'5", um, grown man guard from Trenton Catholic. Um, 200 and whatever pounds. Uh, dude is just an ox, right? It's just an ox. Really hard guard. Um, very, very improved shooter from the outside. He's just a real matchup nightmare. All right, real physical and just has grown man strength. Justin Peoples, um, arguably one of the best on ball defenders in the state of New Jersey. A uh, real twitchy athlete. Um, really quick laterally, side to side, and um, really strong in his lower body. All right. So uh, traditionally, a lot of teams um, against Jameer Watkins, they'll just try to match up with him. Um, at 6'5", uh, he's a VCU commit. You can't really match up with this dude, right? Not at the high school level, right? You, so you got to be, um, what we wanted to do is be unconventional and be unorthodox, right? So we had nobody that could really match up with him as far as length and physicality, right? So we said, let's get underneath him, right? We know Justin has very powerful legs um, and he can stay in front of him, right? So that's what we try to do here. We, we try to get underneath him and make him uncomfortable. Again, you're not gonna stop guys like this. You're, you're not gonna stop guys with this type of athleticism and this type of skill set, right? But you can make it uncomfortable for him. And that's what we try to do in this game for West Tech, all right? Just starting out. All right, so Trent Catholic tried to run a, a horn set, right, the entire game. Um, essentially, from what I've seen, they were just trying to get Jameer to basketball, right? So they would go into this handoff action, which is essentially a screen for Jameer, right? So what happened is uh, coaches and players, um, when you set ball screens or when you set any type of screen or if you have the ball and you're trying to come off of those screens, you have to come tight off of these ball screens. Right. What I mean by that is you don't want to leave any airspace. What Trent Catholic did wrong right here, they let they left airspace for Justin to shoot the gap. All right. So what Jameer has to do is he has to come uh, way tighter off of this screen. So Justin has no opportunity to shoot this gap and Justin has to get screened. Right. He didn't do that. So Justin was able to use his quickness and athleticism to break up this set, which in turn um, messed up the rhythm of the whole offense of Trent Catholic. All right, so come tight off of these screens so the defender has to make a choice. He has to go over top of it or go under it, right? Trent Catholic didn't either, which is why Justin was able to shoot it, and eventually it led to a turnover because Trent Catholic was out of rhythm. All right, so the next play, they go into the same action. All right, they just flip it to the other side. All right, Justin, again, he's able to shoot the gap. They do get a little uh, bit of Justin and able to screen him. So Justin has to trail the, uh, the play a little bit, but he's able to adjust with his athleticism and still contest the shot. So the important thing about this right here is, again, Justin contested, but Justin is underneath Jameer. Bigger guys don't like guys underneath him, right? Whether you're a big man, whether you're a guard, you think it's really easy because they're smaller than you is really not, especially when the smaller guys are powerful. You see guys like P.J. Tucker a lot. Um, he's able to guard bigger guys because you can't move them, and he's able to get underneath you, right? So it makes it extremely, I'm not going to say extremely hard, but it's, it's unorthodox and it's uncomfortable, which is what we wanted to do. As you see, Jameer is shooting this shot off balance. Not because Jameer can't shoot, but it's because he's not used to somebody being underneath him shooting the ball. A lot of teams just try to match his size, right? We didn't want to do that. We want to just make it uncomfortable for him. And in this possession, we did. And you see what the result was. So right here, Jameer smarts up because he's a good player, right? So he tries to post Justin up, all right? Justin does an amazing job of having his hands out, um, just playing very sound defense. But again, as you as I said in a previous video when I did Khalif Battle versus Avery Anderson, you're not going to stop Division One basketball players at the high school level with one guy. It's just not going to happen. 
right? So you see him back of Justin Peoples is another West Tech defender and White waiting for Jameer to make a move or go past Justin. He's not hugged up to his man on the weak side. He's sitting midline helping his teammates out. And that's what it's all about. Everybody working on one accord. Defense isn't about one guy stopping this one guy. No, it's five guys working as a collective unit on a string, helping each other out, right? So Jameer couldn't go past Justin even if he wanted to because there's another West Tech defender there to stop him or to help out, rather, right? So Jameer does what he thinks is best. He shoots a fadeaway. Now, he bails Justin out a tad bit by shooting his fadeaway, but um, you can argue that there's nowhere else for Jameer to go. So that's the only shot he could take, right? So what Justin do? Justin doesn't try to jump and block the shot and be undisciplined. Justin is very disciplined in his rotations, all right? He just squares Jameer up, puts his hand up, and tries to make it hard for him. That's all you can do at times, right? More, more cases than not, this is going to work, right? More cases than not, this is going to work. You square a guy up, you know, you make him make a shot over top of you. It's when they get angles on you. It's when you try to block shots. It's when you try to be overly aggressive. It's when defenders get in trouble. But Justin didn't do that, all right? And as a result, Jameer hits the front of the rim, and West Tech leads to a fast break layup. Not because West Tech did anything special on offense. It's because of Justin's defensive discipline. Here, right here, is where a guy like this would get real, uh, really get in trouble, right? Because again, Jameer's 6'5, Justin's 6'1, 6'2, right? So, him dribbling out on the perimeter is always 100% of the time going to be a win for the defense, right? Because Justin is lower than him. Low man wins. It's no different than football on a defensive or offensive line. Low man wins all the time, right? So, now Justin is able to reach, um, and get underneath Jameer. Jameer is used to being able to dribble the ball high because teams try to match him with size, right? Now he got somebody underneath him, right? Now that's making him uncomfortable. Now that's knocking him out of his rhythm, right? So now Jameer um, is out of rhythm and he tries to do what he does best. I'm going to just put my head down and attack and try to use my grown man's strength, right? But West Tech has a counter to it. Look, West Tech has three guys rotating to the ball for Jameer. Three guys rotating. Not hugged up to this guy in the corner. Not hugged up to this guy on the backside. We want to worry about the basketball. Coaches, tell your kids, you've never seen anybody in the history of basketball score without the ball in their hands. Think about what I just said. It's impossible to score if you don't have the ball in their hands. So why would you hug a guy that doesn't have the ball in his hands? It makes no sense, especially when a guy like Jameer Watkins is on the court which is by far the most talented player Trenton Catholic had this year. All right, we want to bring as many guys to him as possible. And as you see, West Tech drew the charge. And this is another thing. I talk about drawing charges a lot. Coaches, you have to teach this more. I have no idea why y'all not teaching y'all kids how to draw charges, but it makes the game so much easier. It's not a lot of athletes walking around the face of this earth. All right, most of the world is normal. Right. So what I mean by that is teach your kids how to draw charges. All right. It makes so much of a difference in the game in the game. All right. Make basketball simple. Make basketball simple. Make your rotations and draw the charge. It'll make the offensive player think twice. And if the offensive player doesn't think twice, then you'll set a record for charges. But either way, you win. All right. So great job by White all around. Right here, they go into the action again. Now, Jameer's a good player, right? So he's going to make adjustments, right? And this will real, real scores do. This will real scores. Real, I'm not even going to say real scores. I'm going to say this will real players do. They figure it out, all right? So they're pressuring the basketball. They're rotating two to three guys to me at all times. All right, how am I going to adjust as a score? What does he do? He feeds off Justin's um, aggressiveness defensively. And he draws the foul. This is what real scorers do. You get to the foul line. You get out on the break. You get rebounds and get putbacks. All right, figure it out. Don't just settle because I'm not miss. I'm not making my shots, or I'm having a, a tough game, or I'm getting denied the basketball. No, figure it out. Right. That's what real players do. Right. Great job by Jameer finding the contact.
get into the line. I think he went to the line 12, 13, 14 times this game. Something crazy. Kudos to him. Way to be smart and figure it out. Right here, Jamiro on the perimeter, right? Look at the West Tech defenders. Look at the defenders in white, right? Three guys is somewhere in the area of where Jamir is. White that's under the rim. Tyrese is uh, midline right now. Again, not hugging his man in the corner. All right, waiting for Jamir to drive, waiting for any cutter to come. That's Tyrese's responsibility, to the um, white that's under the rim right now. All right, um, Khalil, that's in back of Justin Peoples. He's one pass away. Right, because we don't respect these other guys. It's just, it's just, hey, it is what it is. All right, we respect Jameer. We know what Jameer could do, right? So we want to stop him as much as we possibly can. All right, these guys got these other four guys on train Catholic have to prove to us that they can beat us. Simple as that, right? So we want to send as many people to the ball as possible. Great reaction by great rotation by West Tech. I have no idea how this is not a charge. But you get my point. All right. Give Jameer some credit for uh, just putting his head down and dropping the basketball. But I have no idea how that's a charge. But again, you get my point. West Tech putting as many people as close to the basketball as physically possible. Now, right here, again, advantage defense. They got Jameer going 94 feet against a, a smaller, strong 6'2 guard. That's a really good on ball defender. Right? This is what you want. Jameer looks uncomfortable the entire possession. Right? Referees bail him out by calling a foul, but again, you get my drift. As long as he wanna stay on that perimeter, it's an advantage white. Right? Once he starts going in the paint, different story. But if he wanna be on this perimeter, that's what White wants all day. Right? Make him uncomfortable. He's a good player, so he's still gonna make plays. But your job is to make him uncomfortable. Right? Now, again, this is the flip side, right? He puts his head down and goes to the basket. This is when it just get bad, right? He, he uses what, <laughs> what he's good at, <laughs> right? He uses what he's good at, right? Puts his head down and go, right? That, that is just, you, you can't really get upset at that, right? Again, but that's what offensive guys got to do, all right? You got to figure it out. Jameer gets... He gets to the line. You know, he uses that grown man, brutal strength, right? So, again, kudos to him. So, now, this is another segment that you don't want. You don't want a 6'5 freight train athlete that's Division One out here on the break. Just imagine, again, you see when LeBron has a full head of steam in the NBA. You're not stopping him. It's, it's over. You're not stopping him, right? At the high school level, a guy like Jameer is the same way. But again, this goes back to my original point in the Avery Anderson versus Khalif Battle film. Um, stopping the basketball. Again, this is not a preference of mine. Coaches, I would love to know what you think, but I'm not stopping the basketball here at half court because one, it's extremely hard to do. It's extremely hard to stop anybody in the full court, especially a Division One athlete that's 6'5 with this type of strength. It's hard to do. And secondly, is Jameer shooting a half-court shot from here? No, but he can get to that basket, you know, and Justin guesses and tries to reach, and he guesses wrong, right, which leads to a layup. You know, again, just something to think about. I would rather have all five of my guys in that paint and, um, and Jameer driving against that than having one or two guys driving against a 6'5 Division One athlete. Again, just something to think about, but this is what we don't want. We don't want him getting out on a break. Again, even though he walked, uh, referees had a bad game. But, again, you get my drift. You get my drift. All right? So, like I said earlier, you just want to make it hard for guys like this. Right? You just want to make it hard for guys like that. They're going to make plays at times, <laughs> like, like like he did there. Like, he shoots a fadeaway 20-footer with a hand in his face. You can't ask for nothing more than that. Right? You can't ask for nothing more than that. Justin did everything dis uh, defensively disciplined that he could do. He put a hand up. He boxes him out. He makes a 20-foot fadeaway shot going right. Like you, you tip your hat to guys like that. You just say, hey, good shot, and try to get him next time. You don't get discouraged, anything like that, because this is a really hard shot. How many times can anybody make that shot at the high school level? This, this isn't, <laughs> the percentages isn't high. 
right? So you you just hey, good job, man. You know, let's let's work for another possession. All right. In this last segment, they draw the off. We uh, White draws an offensive foul. Now, to me, again, this is important because this is the whole reasoning why I'm um, showing this video. Justin is athletic, um, but it's not about that. The the reason um, Justin has success today is because of his attention to detail and his effort. Right, like Trent Catholic was running this set the entire game, and Trent Catholic never adjusted. They never had a counter to it, right? Jameer just kept coming over top. He never went back door or anything like that. So Justin paid attention to detail, and he was disciplined with it. But he and he showed effort, right? Justin is a, a real twitchy athlete, and he um his anticipation is great. But it was his effort that got this done, and that's what defense is about. It's about your effort. Right. All of this is about your effort. All right. Yeah. The, Jameer is a division one athlete. But as you see, Justin balanced that out with his effort and his attention to detail and his discipline. Right. Jameer still had 25 points this game, but 15 of it was from the free throw line. You know, and that's just what a good player is going to do. He had 25, but he worked for every single one of those 25 points. And that's what you got to do. It's not a lot of division one players playing high school basketball. Right. So if you play with this type of effort. You know, if you play with this type of discipline, you will win a lot more games than you lose. All right. That's what we got to get to. You can't always be about the sexy things that you see on YouTube and all these other channels or whatever like that. You got at the core, you got to have play discipline, sound defensive basketball. And it's the same on the offensive end. All right. So um, Antoine Miller, Camden Elite. Subscribe to the channel. Um, like the video. Share. Um, comment below. Um, all comments are good comments. Talk to you soon.